Hey guys, John Moroz here and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to design or create uh, your own custom WordPress header and actually install it to your blog, your WordPress blog. Now, if you don't have a WordPress blog, you can simply just opt in right here where you see uh, claim your instant access to my automated online business transformation 10 day video training series that's going to teach you how to get your own wordpress blog online so this is not a tutorial about installing wordpress but once you do have your wordpress blog installed you can come back to this tutorial and it'll walk you through all the steps to actually design your own custom header and uh, get moving in the right direction um, so this is something a lot of teammates have been asking me to, to make this tutorial and I'm excited to actually be able to make it for the last three months I've been stuck in a cast so it's been nearly impossible to do any kind of design work or anything related to um, keyboards or mouses with uh, only one hand it's been pretty tough to make tutorials so I'm excited to say that the cast has finally come off and we can get moving again on these tutorials alright so um, getting started here um, this is a premium WordPress uh, theme, so I'm actually going to start on a free WordPress theme, and I'll come back to the JohnMoreau's.com one later. Uh, but uh, one of the um, best uh, WordPress themes I've been able to find online that's completely free is called Flexibility, and I've left a link down here for you to download that as well. It's completely free. Okay, so here's a blog that I've been working on. Now, this is after you've installed WordPress. You're going to see um, that you have no header up top. Okay, so there's probably going to be text here if uh, you've just installed the WordPress. So this is a neat little trick I've learned and what you're going to want to do is just right click in the header area and view background image. And what you're going to see is this is actually what the header looks like. Okay, So you're going to right click on it again and you're going to save image as and you can see it says header flare and I'm going to save it right to my desktop. So header flare, save it right to my desktop. Okay, so now you can see if I minimize this, this is the header right here. Okay, so what I want to do, and this is an, also a neat little trick, um, below here you're going to see that I have a, uh, a Photoshop substitute, which is called Photo Filter. So if you don't have Photoshop, um, Photo Filter is the next best thing that you can get for free. Personally, I love Photoshop, uh, but this is a great uh, little software that you can download for free. But I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. Okay, and if you can uh, see, all I'm going to do is just file, open, I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to open the header that we just uh, downloaded to the computer. And the most important thing here is that we want to just uh, remember the sizes. So you can actually see the image size, and you can see the width is 1200 by 166. Now, all WordPress uh, blogs are different, so you might not have this exact width and height, if you have a different WordPress theme besides flexibility or woo themes or something like that. If you can see down here, I've got my johnmoreaus.com header and that's a different size obviously. Okay, so all you're gonna wanna do, since we've already saved this, is now you can actually start to add text and images. So it's really easy to do with um, Photoshop. You can just simply click here and say this is your um, WordPress. Did I spell that right? WordPress header type. And what we can do here is just increase the size. And let's go ahead and change the color to black or something like that. Okay, so it's that simple to add uh, text and you can place it wherever you want. Now if you've got um, uh, pictures that you want to import. Let's just show you a great way to do this. And you have to be careful um, with Google um, because you don't want to have any copyright uh, infringements or copyright uh, problems. But you can just go to uh, Google and click on images and say for example you want network marketing. And you've got all kinds of images that you can have here or put on top of uh, your header. Okay, so uh, neat little trick to it. Let's just say, for example, this one. Um, you can actually just click here, right click on it, save image, and let's save that to your desktop as well. Okay, so let's go back here again to the desktop. And here's where the, the sizing comes in again. You've got your image size, and you can see the height here is 166. 
So you, you don't want the height of this to be any larger than that as well. So let's go ahead and put the height down for 155. Okay, and all I would do here is just drag and drop. And uh, again, this isn't much of a um, tutorial on design, but I'll show you another couple neat little tricks. With Photoshop, you can just right click on the eraser and just click the background eraser tool. And if you see here, if I expand this a little bit, what I can do is just take all the white out of the background so that the white doesn't show up on the blog. And here I can just drag this over and whatever you'd like for it to be. I'll press Control T to resize it and you can just fill up the screen as well. Okay, so you can do all kinds of stuff when it comes to pictures. Personally, you probably want to have your own picture in here. Um, for example, what I would do is just drag and drop something. Oh, is this one? Let's see here. You probably want your own picture up here, you know? So um, you can do the exact same thing. You probably want to take a picture of yourself in front of a white background, uh, save that picture to your computer, um, bring it into Photoshop or Photo Filter, and just remove the uh, background of it. Okay, so you can just put your own picture in there, put your own title, and once you're done, you're done. So um, again, this isn't much of a design tutorial, um, but after you're done, you're just want, going to want to save the um, uh, finished product, and you're probably going to want to save it as a PNG, um, which is a file type. So let's say this is your final uh, size, and remember the image is the image size is very important. So uh, the width is 1200, the height is 180. Okay, so you want to make sure that everything stays the same. And what I'm going to do here is just save this to my desktop again, um, and you want to save this as a PNG. Okay, because uh, PNG is going to keep your background. Uh, clear or transparent. Okay, so read LeadNet Pro Review Blog Header uh, PNG. Save it right to my desktop. Okay, and as you can see here, here's the header I just created. So what I would want to do, and this is the flexibility theme option. So what I want to do here is I'm going to go back into my flexibility back office, and I'm going to click on the theme options under appearance. So that's flexibility theme options. Okay, so here you're going to look at your header settings, and that's right here. And if you see, you've got your own header custom image. This is what we just created, and if you remember, we saved it as a .png. Okay, so this here is going to tell you exactly where you need to put your header uh, on your server. So let me go ahead and make a note of this header location and this is where it's going to be on your server so let me explain how this works now if we come back here I've left a software for you completely free called FileZilla now you can also get into your server by logging into your um, uh, cPanel uh, for example your domain name.com forward slash cPanel again all this is explained in the 10 day bootcamp uh, but uh, all you would do is uh, log into your cPanel and also go to your files. But I'm going to show you a quicker way to do this. And this is an FTP software called FileZilla. So once you get FileZilla downloaded, let's get in there and I'll show you exactly what this means. So here is your uh, FTP software. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect. And what I'm looking for is the website called the leadnetprorevue.com because this is the one that I'm working on, the leadnetprorevue.com. Okay, so now that I've got that open, I'm going to look at where it says. It says WP content, themes, flexibility to, images. Okay, so I need to follow that path. All right, so what I'm going to do is do WP content, themes, flexibility to, images. Okay, and this is where I just saved it. This is my desktop. So here, let me show you the file. This is the, uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this. So here is the file that I saved to my desktop, okay? And that is called LeadNet Pro Review Blog Header. So as you can see here in FileZilla, LeadNet Pro Review Blog Header. And what I would want to do is once I've found this location, which is WP Content Themes Flexibility to Images, all I'm going to do is drag this from my desktop 
to the server. All right, and uh, once that's there, um, I am going to go back in to my um, WordPress back office, and all I'm doing is I'm just copying the name of it. So I'm going to go back into my WordPress back office, which is right here. So as you can see, this is the leadnetprorevue.com WordPress back office. And I'm going to do my header custom image. Because what I did is I uploaded my header to this location. So now I'm just going to paste in the name of the header of what I saved it as right here. Okay, so let's actually take a look at what the LeadNet Pro looks like right now. You can see there's nothing here. And when I actually go and save the changes, header settings, save the changes, let this load. Okay, now that that's loaded, let's go back to the uh, website again that we are working on. And I'm just going to refresh the page by clicking home. And as you can see, my header just showed up here now. Okay, so again, this is going to take a little bit of resizing, a uh, little bit of, you know, moving some stuff around. Um, as you can see here, I've got a search box. So I probably, you know, when I was actually creating this header, I had to move this text around and all this stuff around and make it look um, the way that I wanted it to. Okay, now again, this is not really a, a design uh, tutorial, but if you do have any problems when you're designing anything um, in Photo Filter or Photoshop, again, if you have uh, any questions, more than likely you're going to be able to find that on Google or on YouTube. So just go to YouTube and just say, you know, um, if you've got an image of yourself and you want to remove the background. So it would be Photoshop or Photo Filter Remove Background Image Color, something like that. And more than likely you're going to find a tutorial that will help you out with design. Okay, so um, this is a pretty neat little way to do it. I've actually even seen other people um, do it r another really neat uh, way, which is um, so simple for the beginner, and that would just be to um, open up a PowerPoint presentation, and you can do the exact same thing. So you can actually insert, let's say I want to insert a picture, and let's go down to, uh, let's see, um, miscellaneous I've got some pictures in here and let's say I want to insert this picture so here I've got a picture of myself here header title and sub title and really this is some easy stuff and you can just do this here All right, and this is a very simple um, uh, way to do something if you don't want to use uh, Photo Filter or Photoshop. Um, what you can also do um, here, and I've also left a link on below. This is an, another neat little screen capturing software uh, called Jing Project. It's completely free as well. I actually use something called uh, Snagit, but this pretty much does the same thing. And what I would do here is I just take Snagit. And I want to copy the the uh, I want to copy the the image. Okay, so it's right here. So now I've got the header title, and I can actually just go in here and resize the image. And you can do it by pixels. So whatever the the uh, width is. So obviously this this size wouldn't actually fit the other one because the other one's 1,200 uh, pixels wide. But if you've got a smaller header, you can actually even create your own header in. Um, uh, PowerPoint. It's really that easy. So you can put your own pictures in there. You can copy them over from Google. Whatever you want to do, just type in your title, your subtitle, and you've got a header in seconds. So there's really no learning curve with PowerPoint. It's super, super easy to use. All right, so that's another free option there for you as well.